And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. Every reason to believe this will be exciting, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. And they kick off here. The lineup then for the hosts. I'll tell you what, you don't see this formation every day of the week. No, I mean, it looks very attack minded with the three up front. The three in midfield supplying the width as well, but I'm a little bit worried about the three centre backs. Will they get exposed in the wide areas? And there's the feed into the box. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Sven Bender plays with Wendell in the fullback positions. Kai Havertz plays alongside Charles Arangis in the centre of midfield. And handed the role of striker in this setup is Lukas Salaria. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? And that was a very fine read. has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in a chance to whip it in and he takes on the shot Demi Abai the keeper was never likely to be in trouble then Diaby Kerem Demi Abai on the ball Sven Bender Arangis Tremendous intuition to win it back. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Nicolas Hofner. Gunter on the ball. Into the advanced position. And this is Grifo. And here's Benarami. Havertz, Alario, and scope for them to produce something exciting, and a chance for them to notch in front, can they put it away? Nicolas Hofner, being pressed and pressed high, a meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Habera, Chang Hoon Kwon, Peterson still level here but the pressure escalating and putting his body on the line chance to attack using wit Alario well read to ease the pressure now can they counter clinically Chang Hoon Kwon Is on. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game late. Well, it's simple to me, Derek. He's just not done enough. Defenders are coping with him just fine. Movement is too predictable. Not really had a sniff of goal so far. It's with Lucas Salario. Karim Belarabi. Diaby. Dangerous looking through ball. And it's gone in! Yes. 
Well, so often than not, the post can be the goalie's friend. Not on this occasion. So close, but it's in. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Harborer now. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Alario, excellent challenge. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Nice switch of play. Arangis. is blunt poor effort well he got a lot right there but he got one thing wrong and that was the finish Nicolas Hofner Haberer now as an attacking player you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour but offside here yeah the defence got that spot on and so did the linesman Demir Bay has it. Playing with purpose and control. Terrific block there. Arangis. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Then Arabi. And they got to it fairly easily. Dominic Heinz. Mike Franz with it. Gunter on the ball. Harbara. He's given it straight to the opposition. It's all about translating threats into goals. Gunter on the ball. Mike Franz with it. And on the ball, Chang Hoon Kwon. Schmidt. A very effective clear. Demir Bay has it. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. And a substitution in the offing. Kerem Demir Bay. Read it magnificently and intercepted. 15 minutes remaining. Charles Arangis. Bender. Arangis. Smuggled away. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Well, it came to nothing in the end.
Ezequiel Palacios. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. Can he put it away here? And it's gone in! Well, Derek, this is why coaches tell you to stop the cross from coming in. But they didn't get tight enough and were punished for it. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game so 2-0 now an important interception Waldschmidt and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time and Grifo in possession. It looks promising. And you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. And now it is truly final. The match is over. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.